Well, hello there. Hope you're well. Guys, Griff here, and in this video, I'm showing you how to get the absolute best mods for Cyberpunk 2077. The eight mods you're about to see massively enhance the game. We've got everything from quality of life improvements, like making the minimap larger so you can actually see where you're going, to the third person mod you see here that gives the game more of a traditional open world RPG feel. Even if occasionally, you know, your head disappears. There are even mods that transform the graphics into something that looks straight out of Borderlands. And as a plus, there are no annoying robots you want to slap. I've put links to all these mods in the description. They're all available on the website Nexus Mods. To make things slightly easier, I recommend downloading the Nexus Mod Manager Vortex, which is free. With Vortex, you don't have to do any fiddly extracting of files into various directories on your computer. In most cases, you just click on the mod you want, enable it in Vortex, then see it miraculously appear in your game. Simple. So that's my modding 101 lesson out of the way. Let's kick off the list of eight amazing amazing cyberpunk mods you must try make sure to give me a quick like subscribe to my channel that's gaming with griff griffin and enjoy the video Number one, Better Minimap by Willy JL Demon Red. This handy little mod massively improves the minimap, which in my opinion is trash. You can't see where you're going half the time because it's so zoomed in, and this means you'll frequently miss your turn because there's not enough time to slow down. My apologies to the pedestrians and their families. With this mod, however, you can zoom out the minimap to your heart's content. As long as your heart is content with this, mine certainly is, you can view more of the city and this lets you see what turns are coming up ages before they happen giving you adequate time to prepare the mod actually lets you select a few different zoom options you can pick an extreme zoom for an almost godlike perspective a medium zoom and a close zoom you can also remove the minimap altogether and just use the compass although to be fair playing only with the compass makes it kind of hard to navigate anywhere i mean i'm not bare grills am i am i let me know in the comments an option I do like to enable though is transparency. It kind of fits the whole futuristic aesthetic and adds a nice little bit of flair to the UI. The poorly implemented default minimap is one of those things the devs overlooked when they were attempting to create the most detailed sandbox world of all time. And don't get me started on the confusing colorization of the GPS trails or the fact it doesn't zoom out the faster you drive, which is a feature GTA had a decade ago. But with this mod, at least you don't have to be completely annoyed whenever you look at it. Just slightly annoyed. Number two, Borderland Fight by Salmo. Whenever there's a thriving mod scene for a game, you can count on there being graphics mods. Making the game look all cinematic is usually the aim, but Borderland Fight 2077 goes completely in the other direction. It emulates the visuals of Gearbox's Borderland games by turning Cyberpunk into a cell shaded wonderland. Everything from the guns to the interiors of the cars look like they've dropped straight out of Pandora. In fact, after playing with this mod enabled for about an hour, I actually found it hard to go back to the original graphics. It's that effective. Now, you do need to go through a few extra steps to make this mod work, so make sure you follow the instructions on the website closely. But I'm pretty dumb and I got it to work, so I reckon you can do it too. If you do have any trouble with the Borderland 5 mod, an even easier way is to use the cartoon plugin in Reshade. Just download the Reshade program and tick all the boxes, then load up the game and search for the cartoon effect. Instant Looney Tunes action. Hey friend, kinda hot lately. Number three, the Arasaka Appearance Updater by Admiral. Update your hairstyle and facial features with the click of a button with the Arasaka Appearance Updater. No matter what bad decisions you made when you first created your character, have no fear, you can now reverse them. Just download the mod from Nexus Mods, extract the folder into the place where your save files are, open it up whenever you want a new look, then let your artistic talents shine. You can change your hairstyle, add makeup and piercings, and even 
even alter your facial attributes, picking different eyes, mouths, jaws, ears, and noses. When you get back into the game, you'll be a totally different person. One thing to be aware of is that sometimes options will be crossed out. This happens when your character has the default value in an attribute. So, for instance, if you never picked cyberware, it means you can't select new cyberware later. That's just one of the inbuilt downsides of the mod. But hey, at least you don't have to walk around with the exact same face for 150 hours now. I mean, really, when you think about it, it's actually completely ridiculous that this is a thing that needs to be modded. In a city obsessed with image and what you look like, you're telling me there isn't a single hairdresser or tattoo parlor to change things up? Come on now. Technology exists in Night City to literally give you a new nervous system. And I had to spend all that time with this boring face. Well, not anymore. Number four, instant disassembling and crafting by Dirty Sanchez. Make and break down items instantly with this time-saving mod. Before, when you wanted to craft something or disassemble something, you had to wait what seemed like an age. Look how slowly that bar fills. It's awful. Now imagine doing that 100 times or 200 times, just holding down the button over and over again while you reflect on your meaningless existence. At least that's what I was doing. What makes it worse is it's an artificial delay put in just so you can feel like you're actually doing something. In reality, a few numbers are just kind of being shifted around. Check it out. When we go into the files, it says so right here. It's a fake delay. And that means you can totally edit it. Now, you can do this manually if you want, but it's easier just to download the mod, which does it automatically. It changes the time from half a second to just one tenth of a second. All you have to do now is tap the button to make something and tap it again to unmake something. There's no immersion at all being lost. It just removes the tedious time restraints. And as a plus, you can level up your crafting way, way faster. As nice as the menu looks, I don't want to spend loads of time there when I could be doing other stuff like this. Number five, third person by Jelly Backer. Have an out of body experience with this downright essential, in my opinion, mod. It lets you play cyberpunk entirely in third person. And really, that makes complete sense for an RPG like cyberpunk is. I mean, I can get why CD Projekt Red wanted to distance themselves from, you know, The Witcher and Fallout and things like that. But come on, sometimes you just need to take a step back and see things from a new perspective, quite literally. And also, not being able to see a character in a game like this is just weird. What's the point of customizing yourself and putting on all those new clothes when the only time you see them is in the menu? Now, as you can see, the third person mod is nowhere near as polished as you'd ideally like. For instance, your head kind of has a habit of disappearing, but there are a range of options for you to select from. Simply press B on your keyboard to activate third person mode, F2 to cycle through different views, 9 to zoom out, and zero to zoom in. By default, the third person mode swaps to first person when you get your guns out, but you can enable third person with guns by going into the file and just changing this one line. Don't worry, if you mess anything up, you can just verify the integrity of the game and everything goes back to how it was. With the third person mod, you'll see more of not only yourself, but the world as you glide through it like a graceful, silent street ninja. Exactly like this. Number six, better vehicle handling by Callan Z2. Make cars and bikes less frustrating to control with this mod. Again, just go to Nexus Mods and follow the instructions to download it. No longer will you be going 150 miles per hour in your vehicle and try and turn the corner and end up skidding into a guy and getting a wanted level and having to kill a dozen more people and then dying in a horrific frenzy of violence. All that skidding and sliding and violence has been toned down here. Cars and bikes still feel weighty, but the responsiveness is turned up and the annoyingness gone. Right now, there are three versions of this mod to download with varying degrees of subtlety, but I recommend downloading version three. This is the version with the stickiest handling. The other two are, for me, a bit too subtle in what they do, but three is the one you want. It's a bigger change. And before you think this mod is just basically turning Cyberpunk into Mario Kart, don't worry, the vehicles do still feel convincing. You'll just lose control of them a lot less. And that's great for everyone all round, really, isn't it? 
Number seven, better controls menu by Nibrodu. This mod lets you remap almost every single command in the game. Where Cyberpunk already gives you the ability to change some keyboard commands by default, better controls menu goes much, much further. You can remap basically everything from performing primary actions to quick saving. These were things you couldn't do before. The interact button in vanilla Cyberpunk is always the same button. And before Nibrodu came along, you just had to get used to it. But now, you do not. The mod essentially gives you greater flexibility and control over your character. And that's a good thing, because some of Cyberpunk command choices are just baffling. Like, just let's change stuff, come on. This is the, this is the year 2077. Losing the name. There are so many great reasons to edit your control scheme that not being able to, in this day and age, feels positively medieval. Whether you have different accessibility needs or you just have a personal preference like me and want your go-to key set up and ready, key remapping is a must. Number eight and the last entry, it's Cyber Engine Tweaks by Yamashi. This is actually more like an all-encompassing patch than a mod, fixing loads of things in the game and adding a cheat console for good measure. For starters, according to the patch note, Cyber Engine Tweaks makes the game crashless, stops your frame rates dropping in hectic firefights and lets you skip the start menu and get right into the action. And for what it's worth, I've not noticed any crashes or slowdowns since downloading it, so, you know, it's worked for me. Here's the best thing it does. With this mod, you can open up the console at the press of a button and play guard, giving yourself any items, boosting your bank balance and leveling up instantly. Anything you can think to do with the console, you've got access to it here. I just like to give myself new clothes, to be honest. I cannot say no to a free balaclava. There's a handy list of item codes here. I've put a link to it in the description, so just visit that link, copy whatever weapon, item, or cyberware upgrade it is you want, and paste it into the console. If you fancy getting access to literally everything you could ever want, and having absolutely no sense of accomplishment in the process, make sure to get this mod. So there you have it, guys. Eight essential mods for Cyberpunk 2077. CD Projekt Red's open world RPG is getting better by the day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to my channel, Gaming with Griff Griffin. Now watch 30 seconds of gameplay set to relaxing music. See ya!